South Africa's agriculture minister is assessing the damage of a potentially devastating pest. The fall army worm comes from Central and Southern America and has a voracious appetite. There have been previous infestations across the African continent, but the latest outbreak in Southern Africa started last year in Zambia. Two weeks ago, scientists confirmed it's reached South Africa. The worms feed on a wide range of crops, including all the staples, such as maize and this farmer's sorghum. I think uh, it's about a third of the country's sorghum has been planted in the spring of flats. So 12,000 hectares plus has been planted here, so I think it's a, it's a very big impact on the sor sorghum industry. There can be as many as a thousand of them per square metre. They eat leaves and the plant's reproductive organs. They live for up to 40 days and are very good flyers as adult moths. Quick reactions are essential to containing the pests. An emergency pesticide spraying program started within 36 hours of the fall army worm being identified. But the tricky thing is the worm hides right inside the plant. So even where chemicals have been used, some survive. Right. The fall army worm is particularly unwelcome in a region already struggling to cope with a drought. Already it is in four provinces and, and, and at the rate it, it is spreading, it worries us. We had a disaster last year of, 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 of drought. We want to deal with this as a disaster but we must make sure that we don't wait for long processes. Any delays is expected to hinder efforts to stop the march of the fall army worm. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Limpopo, South Africa.